So hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be the next little project we've got on the bench here in front of us. For years and years I've used uh, the Armstrong method of uh, turning my FPV antenna. And I've always uh, wanted an antenna tracker. Unfortunately it's always been a little bit cost prohibitive in respect of having to add something onto the each aircraft you've got. Anyway, I recently came across this one, so I bought the kit and um, here it is. This one basically works by reading the information from the uh, telemetry. So this came through the post and uh, that's the main board there with all the information held on it. The board came unpopulated apart from the surface mount um, parts. Please excuse the 3D printer in the background. It's running now, it's competing with my voice. Um, so the board's been populated with the LEDs, the connectors, different things. There's a couple of um, MG996 servos, I believe they are. There's an OLED display there. Some hardware. Uh, screws and bolts and things, three bearings and uh, various uh, connectors and leads that will be needed to put this thing together. Um, apart from this there's quite a bit of 3D printing to do which is uh, underway now and uh, we'll just make a bit of a build video and follow this uh, build along quite excited about this one be really nice to have an automatic antenna tracker both elevation and uh, um, azimuth to uh, keep track of the planes in the sky rather than having to turn the thing by hand so looking forward to that okay so we uh, went ahead and mounted the control board the PCB into the 3D printed base that Alan's printed out exceptionally well. I'm very pleased uh, with the outcome of that. So the, the unit's installed in there very nicely. We've got the uh, OLED now hooked up to the board. We also modified the board um, instead of taking the power in from the units down there we've added a uh, XT90 connector there because most of our batteries have XT90 anywhere and we added a switch an on off switch basically so that we can simply plug the battery into there and uh, use the on off switch to power the thing on and off rather than keep having to uh, plug the battery in and out. The wiring for that's on the back. Took the uh, positive and negative from the end connector switch the positive through the switch the LEDs, the four LEDs fitted nicely at the front panel and that's the bracket holding the uh, OSD and the OSD is plugged into an I squared C port at the back of the board so at the moment we're looking pretty good marked up some of the LEDs with uh, what they're doing. Unfortunately we couldn't mark the status LED up because I wasn't room to do that. But So making some progress. Quite pleased with it. So far. So that's the unit with the four sides. Also gone to again, printed out by Alan. Great 3D printing. And the uh, mount for the tripod is on the bottom that simply drops into my tripod and locks in makes for a very easy fix uh, the two main bearings have been pushed into the bearing housing 
that's the burning housing there and when it's completed that plate simply just sits on the top of there of course there's very sort of things to go in there yet next we'll go ahead and mount the servos and the gearing for the uh, for the pan uh, servo right so making a bit more bit more progress so you got the uh, servo installed now under the gear plate and we've got a bit of movement going on that seems to be working out quite nicely so it's mounted in there, the bearings are in there that's the uh, gear, the big gear that's mounted to the servo which drives the smaller gear which is probably around about, I'm guessing, 2 to 1 rotation. So next the cover plate, or the gear cover plate's fitted. We've um, adapted it slightly because we've extended it and put a spot in for a compass um, just for to help us with alignment in the field. That's the cover now on there. That's ready to go into the main unit. Well, we've made some decent progress with the uh, Sentinel antenna tracker. We've got it pretty much together now. There's just a few bits and pieces left to sort out the uh, plate for the antenna and the receiver. We've used the side panel with the battery connector on it, or the battery holder, I should say. That's on there. We also modified the top plate to house a compass, which uh, could be handy at the field. For setting this thing up in the uh, northern or the north orientation. So yeah, quite pleased the way Alan's printing is fantastic. He's done a really great job. That machine of his is really very, very good. So we've got some movement. We turn the unit on. We've just got a little bit of setting up to do and uh, get the receiver hooked up and uh, we should be nearly there so we've got the thing hooked up now we've got the uh, my transmitters on one of my models is powered up the telemetry light is locked and uh, that's the setup so the receiver arrived in today The Asian was it the Pro 58 or something like that? I think it is. Just stuck a little helical on there at the moment. So yeah, it seems to be functioning correctly. So we've got a decent telemetry signal. We've got 100% uh, signal there. If it's going to focus the camera or not? No, maybe not. Giving us information about the tilt, the pattern, the battery voltage, and the RSSI, I believe. So maybe it's just a case of getting out and testing this, which is going to be a while for us because where we live in this part of the world, it's wet and windy for most of the uh, winter time. So. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. So really all I'm waiting for now is the uh, true patch antenna. Um, we've got the receiver, the device city receiver. Coaxed up. I've just stuck the uh, small one on there at the moment. As soon as the large one comes it'll get screwed into the uh, bracket. And that is us just about complete, I suspect. See the receiver's on. I realise it's upside down, of course, but we're on diversity at the moment. Yeah, looking pretty good. Can't wait to get a field test. <laughs> well, I have a feeling that be, might be some time, given the place we live in. You might be able to hear the wind howling in the background right now. Windows here are pretty tough and uh, 
RC flying has become a seasonal, a seasonal event as far as we're concerned anyway. Okay we've turned up at the field this morning, yesterday was a beautiful day and we've turned up here this morning and I hope that we maybe get some test flight done with the new antenna tracker and look at the down wheeler. Missed, missed, missed as far as the eye can see, it's actually spotting on rain at the moment so okay so we're back at the field this morning with the Sentinel a, uh, AAT or automatic antenna tracker we've got the transmitter on we've got the plane powered up and armed the sentinel is switched on the telemetry light oh, nearly fell out of there <laughs> the telemetry light is come on on the unit which we'll zoom into now hopefully the antenna pointed vertically and to the north so it's armed Project's going to work across the field here, and hopefully, when he gets to a set distance, this is going to follow him. <laughs> Let's go and see what happens. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, now it's going to keep going on me, because it's come down, but it's pointing the wrong way, actually. So, the antenna's gone horizontal, but it ain't pointing at Padraig at the minute. Try coming that way, mate! Now it is tracking, but it's off him. Well, as you can see, there he is there, and the antenna's looking the wrong way, so that's possibly something I've got to do during setup. It is moving. Stop, mate! Come back that way! Yeah, so it's tracking, but it's tracking probably around about, I don't know, 45 degrees out or so. I'm not too sure what's happening there, because there you can clearly see where he is. And that's where the tracker's looking, so there's the difference in the angle. It's definitely tracking as he's walking, but it's not pointed to him. Actually that wind's dropped, hasn't it? Moving though? Yeah. But it's moving that distance off again, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's about the same. So it's up 30 degrees yeah. out, isn't it? Yeah. I'll try and bring it in, pass the tree for a moment. Still that angle off, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Oh, 
Nice.